host Randall Bennett from Tech Feed, joined by my BFF from Crunch Gear, Matt Burns. I Thanks, gave you that Randall. title. Do you like that title? That is a good title. Works. You know what? Funny fact: Matt was on the first ever Tech Feed. Actually, no, you were bumped off the first. I ever was tech bumped, feed. right? Because of technical difficulties. Yeah. So we're making it better yes, yes. by being the first person to CES. So we're talking today about the best of CES. And before we were trying to say, like, is there a best product? And we really don't think there is. I mean, Matt, sort of like, what's your breakdown of CES this year as sort of a show and even I don't know, just what's what's going on here for you? Well, I think the biggest the biggest news for CES this year is 3D TVs. Yeah. Right. But then there's ebook readers too, because there's like 47 ebook readers. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of 3D TVs too. So right. It's not just like one monolith product where you can say, oh, like last year the Pre was like yeah. the product of CES. Well, it was a big surprise. Yeah, and the, this year it's more like three TVs are everywhere, ebook readers are everywhere, but there's not like a winner or whatever. Right. No. And so, so out of all those things, sort of, what's your highlights? What's your lowlights? What do you think? I mean, like, well, it, today I interviewed a panda. A panda. A panda. Yeah. I, I like like an actual, account. an actual panda. No, he talked to me too, so oh. it wasn't nearly as fun as I wanted okay. it to be. But that's been the, my personal highlight. But uh, as, as far as products go, um, there's an actual 3D TV that does not require glasses. What? Yeah, by TCL. Okay, where are it's, they? It's over by Samsung. Okay. That that's been, I think, the biggest surprise. It's not. I mean, it's not nearly production ready. Like it, it gives you a headache if you watch it for five, ten seconds. Is it like? Is it a lenticular? Is that how they're doing it? Yeah, I mean, it has the little ridges on it, like you would see on old time. Like it's like a three card. Yeah, or whatever. exactly. Yeah, but it works. And so you it, it works for more than one person. Like you can, right. You can sit around and watch it from and a various viewing angles. If you move it, it definitely messes. So with how do your they head. actually record video? Because I feel like a lenticular would mean you have to have like eight different cameras. You have to have eight arrays or whatever. I mean, well, it the demo they're a lot showing, more than that even. The demo was was animated. Okay. So that that could be one. Thing. Yeah, that would be like make a lot more sense because otherwise, like to actually record that data, right. it would be like very improbable. Yeah. Right. So let's talk about misses. Is there any misses? Like things that yeah, you probably I, I, I really or? think I think 3D in general is a big miss. Yeah. I think it's a big fad. It's not going to stick around. It's um. It's something that people are jumping on. Rather. One thing Doug is talking about. He's going to be on the show tomorrow. Doug Amit. Right, Got yeah, it. Uh, Yeah, so he's going to be on the show tomorrow. We talked before that he said sort of like there's a format war and 3D glasses is going well, yeah, to happen. Yeah, that, that's one of the problems with 3D TVs in general. Like, let's say you buy a Panasonic TV, right? But then your buddy has a Sony and you want to go watch Avatar. You cannot take your Panasonic glasses over to the Sony and watch it. So is it like, I mean, are, is most of these technologies polarization. So maybe like one is polarized this way, one's polarized this way. and like Well, a lot of the glasses are, are active, right? They're battery okay. powered. And so I'm, I'm sure that has part of it. No, definitely. But then, like, you're, you're going to see this in the future if the 3D thing sticks around, right? Monster Cable is going to get into it, and they're going to sell $300 glasses. There's going to be a whole whole market for this. I think the only people that are excited about 3D in general are the manufacturers. Yeah, and I, that's really like the truth. I mean, I feel like Blu-ray is sort of a similar thing, and right. the manufacturers are ridiculously excited about Blu-ray, but consumers really haven't found a big need for it. They're starting to pick it up now because prices have come down, and you might as well. But I mean, like DVD, consumers were like, yeah, DVD is awesome. Right. 3D, you're totally right. It's it's very similar situation. Well, um, like we found too with the with the Blu-ray. The most requested thing we got to view today on our live stream was a boxy box. Yeah. That's the future. Yeah. Physical media is not. No, definitely. I think boxy, they've done a really good job. Their interface has improved a lot, the new, mm -hmm. especially the new one. And I love that remote flip over query. Right, yeah. So, right. Um, well, anyway. Vizio has a, has a QWERTY remote as well. Really? I didn't all all their new TVs right. have a slider remote yeah, with, with QWERTY. So people are starting to get to the smart TVs, a lot of stuff. Matt Burns from Crunch Gear. Thanks for coming on the program. I really Thanks appreciate so much. It. So you can check him out at crunchgear.com. We have links to all that stuff at techme.com because we're friendly like that. We yes. link to each other. Yeah. Anyway, BFFs. Thanks to our Justin TV watchers and everyone for supporting us so far. See you later.